Welcome back, Stats23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today I have another unbagging for y'all. This one is coming from uh, Savivi. They asked me if I was interested in these, and one of them is very, very interesting. Something that looks like I would like a lot. And the other one, it's a little something different, I don't know. Let's see. God, it's always so hard to get into these packages. I'm sure I'll have to do a little editing on this. <coughs> so we got two Savivis. Let's see which one's which. We'll go, we'll, we'll save the, the best for last, at least in my opinion. Right here is the coming soon. I, I don't think these are out yet. The Savivi Mini Sandbar. So here's the knife. This one is in JG10. Not my favorite, but we'll, we'll live. Looks like they got a titanium pot clip. That's those old school pot clips that they used to put on their knives. Huh. Maybe they're refurbishing some of the old ones. Let's see, check that flipping action. Of course, excellent flipping action. See, this one didn't excite me as much because it's, it's it's got a pretty deep recurve right there. But I have a feeling Oh, yeah, it is a super thin hollow grind right in this uh, recurve area. And it feels like it might thicken up just a little bit uh, toward the tip. It's the Eric Oaks design. Is this Eric Oaks' first uh, Savivi collaboration? Maybe even we, maybe? I know he did some with Drop and that we did, but yeah, it's got good action. <clears throat> there it goes off the back without starting to do my testing. It feels okay. Pretty neutral grip there. So that's the first one, the mini sandbar. I like the grind lines on there. They actually look nice. Um, Cause I'm not a huge satin fan, but this actually looks pretty good. So we will see how effective that recurve is uh, whenever I test this one. Let's see what we got in this pouch. Let's see. All right, the knife. Here is the knife. This is the Chevalier, I think it's pronounced. I could be completely wrong and that wouldn't be the first time. So this one looked really interesting. I love how they got the dual fullers. So you should be able, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like this one a lot. It's a much bigger knife than that one. It's a nice size knife. It's not huge, but you do get a lot of blade. I love that pin shaped blade right there. Is that just, yeah, that's just a shadow, I think. Let's see, yeah. Nice, attractive stone wash on these. I mean, this one's got a nice, attractive stone wash. What is the blade steel? I didn't even, I think it's Nitro V. Let's see. Um, 14C, 28N, I think, which is perfectly A-OK. -okay. Feels like it comes down to a nice thin edge. Oh, it's a button lock once again. So you have that flipper, little stick, but nothing that bothers me. I mean, the only time <coughs> button sticks gonna bother me is like on like say my Protec that I uh, have, my, my Titanium Malibu, that one, Whenever I first got it, the button stick was like, I mean, hard to push that button down. This one, I mean, it's very easy to push the button. It just has a, you know, a tad bit of stick. Might have some uh, oil or something on there. I don't know. Whatever causes button lock stick. Uh, initial impressions with the Ergos feel really nice. Let's do some size comparisons. I got some more Savivi knives right here. So first of all, you can see the difference between the sandbar and the Chevalier. And I guess we can put, let's put this one right here. So we got the Savivi Altus. The Altus is the same size as the mini sandbar. And then here is the uh, Conspirator. The Conspirator is the same size as the Chevalier. <clears throat> so I like <coughs> both of those size ranges. These are, you know, the easy to carry for the majority of the people in the world. Um, they they just really get EDCs. These are also excellent, especially the slim form factor. It's easy to carry, plus you get a nice full size blade. I mean, let's see the difference. 
So, I mean, because of that tan series, it's not, doesn't look uh, like a whole bunch, but I mean, you're getting a lot of cutting edge here. This one, even though it's, it's kind of plain, <clears throat> I mean, it would have been nice to have like a swedge right here or something, but depending on what the price point on these are, this one, it really, really excites me. Um, and just like all other Civivis, they have several different versions of this. Um, let me grab the paperwork. I think it even shows for the mini sandbar. You have the Jade, black G10. Then you have the, uh, it looks like green micorta with a black blade. And then that's a Damascus. Let's see if it says what the handle scale material is. I love how they put the HRC. A lot of companies, seems like they've tried to hide that for some reason. Yep. Black micarta here. Green micarta there. Natural G10. Okay, so that's for the sandbar. Here's for the Chevalier. <clears throat> Let's see. You have dark green micarta with a black stonewash blade. That one, that one looks really, really nice. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably like that one enough to where I'll probably buy that one as well. Even the wood one looks nice. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say that. But that wood with the stonewash blade, uh, 14C, like I said. And then the Damascus with that same wood. That one probably looks really nice. This one is just really intriguing to me for some reason. I don't know. I love that dark contrast with the green. So there you go. If you're interested to see my full thoughts and testing on the Chevalier and the Mini Sandbar, stay tuned. Uh, you know, I, I try to get these out as fast as possible, but I'm very backed up, so sometimes it takes me longer than others. But I, I, I plan on trying to knock these out uh, fairly quick because the last ones took a little while, so I tried to alternate between the companies. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.